Greetings to all. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. And today we will be discussing another very important uh, part of dental anatomy practicals that is age determination of caste. So <clears throat> it is very important to uh, to identify dental caste for age determination. Now, when you uh, attempt this. Uh, exercise during spotting exam there is a time limitation for every spot as per university guidelines it is uh, it ranges from uh, two minutes to five minutes it depends on the uh, various exam like uh, it can be five minutes per spot or two minutes two and a half to three minutes so let us begin with uh, age determination exercise so now i have uh, kept uh, uh, these uh, two cast and uh, 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 the st sticks also so these sticks uh, demarcates the um, quadrants and the arches now this horizontal stick demarcates the um, uh, uh, arches like the uh, horizontal line when you uh, keep the cast above it it is maxillary cast and the mandibular cast should be placed below this line and this vertical line is a, is an imaginary line which is a vertical line or a midline and uh, these sets of teeth will be entered on this side and this side of the teeth will be entered on this side now these casts are placed according to the patient position imagine you are a dentist and these casts are belongs to your patient standing in front of you or sitting in front of you with jaw open and this is patient's maxillary cast maxillary jaw and this is uh, mandibular jaw so in exam only one cast will be asked and then you need to identify correctly and you need to interpret correctly and all the write up should be perfect so now uh, imagine we are attempting maxillary cast so very important first step is when you uh, start writing this uh, cast you need to place it correctly first so now this since this is a maxillary cast so for our beginners those who are beginners uh, maxillary cast will have this palatine true okay so you need to first place it on above the line now let us see how to start writing uh, during practical exam now first is after you place the uh, cast correctly so if it is maxillary on the uh, it will be above the line horizontal line then next is you need to uh, write uh, which uh, type of dentition it is mixed dentition then it is a maxillary cast and now this this step is very very important teeth present now you can see this <clears throat> this side of teeth i have entered here so you can see this is uh, half erupted so this is first so number one uh, in permanent dentition and then remaining lateral incisor canine first molar and second molar uh, so it is b c d e and uh, the permanent tooth which is erupting is six i have used two color pens uh, two colors to differentiate between the deciduous set and the permanent set so in the previous video i have told you like the incisors and first molar they erupt together so i have used black pen for that and the remaining deciduous set is uh, red color same thing it is on this side one is erupting and i have put a arrow i have put a upward arrow so this indicates that incisors are erupting and the remaining deciduous set and the six okay so <clears throat> this is my entry on both the sides and then erupting tooth you need to mention so one one is erupting and the age of the erupting uh, maxillary central incisor is 7 to 8 years so if we see this um, if we see this uh, chart which i have already explained in my previous video so this is uh, maxillary permanent this is central incisor it is 7 to 8 years so the age of the cast given cast will be 7 to 7 to 8 years so this is my uh, explanation uh, within uh, 3 minutes or 5 minutes i need to write this now let us see 
the teeth close up view of the teeth so these are incisors you can see the mamelons so mamelons are present in the permanent dentition so these are the erupting central incisors and these are tiny tiny deciduous lateral incisors so they are still deciduous so if they are deciduous and these three set deciduous canine first uh, deciduous molar and deciduous second uh, molar so these four sets of teeth are deciduous so this will be b c d and e and this is six same thing on this side one which is erupting you can see only half length has been erupted then tiny uh, deciduous lateral incisor c d e <coughs> uh, b c d e and this is permanent first molar so this is how it goes